Hello again, my name is Krobelsek, and I'll be doing another War Game Red Dragon gameplay. Alright, the map is 38th Parallel, and I'm going to be playing my Eurocorps deck. Um, in a way that I'm not really used to, to be completely honest. Um, both in Airland Battle and European Escalation, I was always a very predominantly tank-oriented person. I always enjoyed um, open fields, uh, where I can just engage with my tanks. It might have been, might not have been the most skillful of things, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, but the thing is with uh, Red Dragon and the vast differences between the map design in that. Uh, the Red Dragon maps are so much more open, um, I'm having to use, re uh, resort to a much more mobile force, as you'll see used in, um, this game. So, alright. Um, my Panzers were, uh, my AS-565s, uh, were originally destined for this heavy, bu for these, for these buildings over here, but I decided I might want to contest the town, as it's a little bit better of a spot. So I land my panthers, I have them on the ground to prevent them getting, uh, from pop by Tunguskas. And I, pro and I pull up my two ERCs to, uh, do their job. ERCs start moving towards the buck. That's a pretty serious morale damage. and they're promptly taken out by the MI-8s while I start moving my Jaegers into some buildings. I think overall I did not do a very good job uh, contesting this town. The fight was more taken over by my ally uh, while I provided the occasional air support. ERCs will not stand up against at all. Um, all the while, an enemy IL-102 comes in, which is promptly erased by a Block 62. Meanwhile, Charlie's been, uh, taken over by uh, one of my allies who did a very good job uh, landing his light rifleman there. I'm defending the coast with an F2A and I moved the VAV back to provide a little bit of security. Some more napalm comes in to uh, help with the infantry fight. He's kind of poked around in the woods after being fun before we bet it. Which is not exactly the hardest thing to do.
things for the moment mostly kind of calmed down with uh, Super Cobra. Uh, trying to engage forces here, but uh, with an Akula bearing down, that's uh, more than enough of a deterrent. Serious number against uh, the uh, Lotus Drone feet and infantry hiding in there. Well, I try and move across the ERC 90s to support. KM113A1s do their job against it with, uh, they have tow 2 missiles, and they're, but they're supposed to have regular base model tows. Regardless, uh, they do a good enough job, finish it off, my year seems able to land. Had, but I'm I'm too afraid to start moving it up for fear of anti-air units hiding around in the bushes nearby. I bring in plenty of napalm to help with dealing with the uh, pesky light rifle units camped out in there. sure what my mistral was doing back there. Um, I think I just kind of forgot about it, but uh, I'd also have to say the mistral is a very standout unit in that it's uh, it's so good for its job at Reese independent uh, Reese um, because it has to do it can it's capable of dealing with its main threat in that um, helicopters are often. Uh, the main response to a wayward reconnaissance unit poking around in the back of a spawn. All in all, I think I could have done a little bit better with this job um, by landing more forces over by the Foxtrot, uh, over by here, in the buildings. And possibly poking around there a little bit better. Regardless, um, 
we opened up a pretty sizable hole in their defenses, both in Charlie and the town nearby. Uh, had the game continued a lot longer, uh, we would have been able to, in theory, push all the way back to their spawn. Uh, of course, the game ended a little bit before then. All the while, seed missions are doing a number on the enemy air defenses. Unfortunately, an intruder go does go down. lucky hit by a Tomcat, uh, an SC-27 SK goes down. That was a little bit of help from the from a uh, K-30 Baiho. Rocket artillery have actually mostly been fixed to a good amount. Uh, they're not that bad now. The super heavy ones, such as the uh, M270 or the uh, the uh, Smirch, have gotten a nerf to cluster rounds, while other ones have a greatly reduced firing rate. So I'll start poking around with my Mistral to see if I can't uh, snipe a couple of AA helicopters or not snipe a couple of reconnaissance helicopters or something. Uh, while a Chinese quartel starts poking around in the uh, uh, over by the crossroads over there. So with the help of relevant um, pulling his weight, actually pulling uh, a, a lot of his, uh, a lot more weight than I did in the infantry fight, um, the town has mostly been opened up to our, actually the town is completely under our control and we're in the process of possibly moving out into other towns. Logistics vehicles were taken out um, back here, which caused a, uh, a cascade explosion, which knocked out the CV. And my ACR is poking around to see if I can uh, finally snipe an, a snipe an AKM, which I finally do, but not without being hit. The Burantino also received a buff, and that it, uh, it deals uh, a fair bit of uh, initial damage. I believe it's HE10, and then originally, uh, and then also starts a couple of napalm fires. It was actually a very nice buff. Oh, weird camera there. It's actually a very nice buff, I'd say, and that um, it starts to come close to. Uh, being justified for its ludicrous price. <laughs> so an SC-25T starts uh, poking around. Actually two of them, I believe. My Mistral assists with... Uh... Actually, no, that wasn't... Uh, that wasn't... It wasn't... Anyways, uh, Mistral assists with taking out one of the uh, SU-25s, and the Varentino also starts firing again while I move up my Tiger to see if I can't pop uh, a couple of these cheap shit transports. 
hundreds of something to start eliminating their meat, their meat shields. Step 432 Cot comes by and is uh, sniped with a very lucky hit with Mistral. And the game ends. Alright. Alright, so there we are. I'd have to say it was a very good game. Um, it was by far one of my best that I've had. Uh, actually, it was by far the best that I had to that point uh, in the game. So there are my kills and my losses, and I'll see you next time.